How's it going, everybody? Anthony or Deathkiller here. And today, I'm introducing you guys to a new Iron Man series here. It's going to be a little uh, different than normal because it's actually a group Iron Man and old RuneScape. And I was hesitant whether or not I should show this progress on this character or if I should make a new one. I decided to just show this one because I really, really like the people I'm working with. And I'm actually really proud of the progress I've made on this character. So I'm just going to stick with this one. I'm going to kind of quickly go through stuff. I do apologize. But as you've been seeing on screen, these are my stats. And I'm going to talk about a little bit of the notable things I've done. My group helped get me 43 prayer i had very little to do with this they just got me 43 prayer and actually they got me up to like 44 and then from 44 i ended up just going and doing quests to get up to 45 obviously i did the quest to get you up to like 30 something so there's that but i went from 30 something to 44 thanks to my group so i do want to give credit where credit is due from level 52 or from there i also did agility up to level 52 um i did some various questing uh to be able to get myself wilderness agility ready which is basically just monkey madness and dragon slayer one completed as well as getting 40 range and lost city unlocked this is just so i could look like i can anti pk while i did wilderness agility and masses i did wilderness agility and masses from 52 up to 63 i honestly might keep doing it it was actually pretty chill but i'm high enough combat level that i basically can get screwed over while doing it so i might not we'll see i haven't fully decided yet um what i'm gonna do Additionally, from there, another thing I ended up working on uh, and early on is I started growing my seaweed farms as well as started going and doing some. Uh, I also did Tithe Farm very early on in this account, like super early from level 52 or from level 34. I quested up to 34 and then I went and did Tithe Farm from 34 up to 62. And then from 62 where I'm currently at, I've just been doing farming contracts. And then just recently I started growing all my herbs. And the reason I waited so long is because I wanted to stockpile herbs while herb seeds while I use them. And it was kind of worthwhile because I'm already kind of running low with the main herbs I wanted to use. And I'm kind of running low. Like I'll just show you guys my herb collection as you can see here i have a fair bit of uh irits and i'm starting to work on my renars so right now i'm going through my renar stack i've got about two more runs to do and then i'm basically out and then from there i don't want to i don't want to fall below like four uh, of a seed and then from there i have to grow i have like two runs of aventos two runs of cadentines and then like one run of quarms before i'm basically out of seeds and i need to start growing stuff so i need to start getting more so that's kind of where we're currently at at the minute on the seed section and that's kind of what i'm currently active actively working on is doing farming contracts when they're up and doing stuff like that so there we go Additionally, from there, I did uh, just kind of talk about things. I did fly fishing or I did questing up to 20 something fishing. I cooked sardines up to about 15 cooking. And then I did fishing uh, and I could did fly fishing up to 35. From there, I then cooked all the trout and salmon I caught and that got my cooking up to like 30 something. From 30 something cooking, I cooked sweet corn and volumore for about th about 50 to 70 kxt per hour uh, for those of you who don't know what cooking sweet corn and volumor is with level 28 cooking you can do this and very minimal requirements but if you come over here i love this method it's great um you just come over here and you run this path like about one and a half times and that'll go and get you a full inventory and then from here you just run straight here cook them on the range drop them and repeat the process over and over again and you can get 50 to 70 k xp per hour doing that which is what i did get up to 53. level 53 cooking all the way up to 66 i just cooked crombwans and that was basically just 65 to 66 fishing so you get a lot more cooking xp than you do fishing xp uh, catching crombwans that's perfectly fine but yeah that's what i did there so i got a bunch of cooking xp that way that's basically it, catching guys up on the general skilling outside. Uh, what I ended up doing with all the agility money, I just remember one thing I forgot to mention. One thing I ended up doing with all the money I got from agility, uh, wilderness agility, is I put it into magic. I got my magic up to 49. Then I did mage training arena from level 49 to 67. Then from questing 67 to the XP I'm at now was just from going and doing MTA. What I got in MTA was pretty simple. I also got the full rogues outfit for thieving. But what I did for MTA was I got myself the Infinity Boots and the Bones of Peaches. Those are the two most important things. The other things I'm tempted to get is the Master Wand and then the Mage's Book in that order. Those are the two other things I'm tempted to get. I'm not necessarily going to get them. I'm just tempted to. So we'll see if I actually do it. I actually did not mind doing MTA. It was kind of fun. But I don't really feel a need to get those items. But I might do it just for the, you know, it's 
nice magic XP and decent rewards. From there, questing-wise, I unlocked Barrow's Gloves, if you can already tell. I did various random quests, kind of very standard low-hanging fruit quests, but I did do a bunch of quests that way. Um, other than that, really not a lot of progress has been made on this character, mostly just getting the basics established, you know, fairy rings unlocked, you know, already easy diary, stuff like that. Very simple things done. So anyways, there's that. I'll catch you guys in the next clip where the actual progress. Well, actually, let me talk to you guys what I'm going to working on now. Currently, what I'm working on and a project I've been working on is getting 75 fletching because I want to. The way I want to do this isn't standard. I want to go and do this the way that's completely not standard and that's making 105,000 or yeah, 105,000 broad arrows. I already made the headless arrows all by my own. I went and cut willow logs and cut and fletched them into headless arrows. Then I went and bought the feathers just because of money I had. I did some agility pyramid to get like, it was like 200K for the 200K. Then I bought the headless arrow or the feathers, made the headless arrows super quickly. And now I'm currently on the grind to get the money to go and be able to buy. I think I need about six mil or seven mil in order to get all the broad arrows in order to get my fletching up from level 54 all the way up to 75. So the way I'm doing to get the money is pretty simple. I'm going in and make myself a bunch. I want, I want to say it's about 3.2 K I need to make, but I'll probably make the full 3.6 K, um, earth orbs or fire orbs if i bother to get my uh, my agility up to 70 one of those two but most likely earth orbs i'll get my um i'll make 3.6k earth orbs then i'm gonna alk the and then i'm gonna turn them into earth battle stabs then i'm gonna alk them and that should net me a little over seven mil profit i'm gonna go and keep seven mil for myself or i'm gonna go and use six mil myself to go and make the arrowheads which should get me 75 fletching as well as that gives me a couple of things which i'll talk about in a second but the other one mil i'm gonna go and throw towards the group because that's the amount of money we have left to acquire that we're gonna need to go and unlock uh, 85 crafting apparently we have all the seaweed um between my seaweed and some other people's seaweeds we have enough seaweed uh giant seaweed here uh to go and get uh 85 crafting we just need the money to buy the buckets uh sand apparently they already mined them while i was away so we just need to get the money so that's where my participation is going to be just giving them the money left over so i'm going to go and do that now the reason i want to get 75 fletching is the main reason is so i can make an msv i know it's not that big of a deal you can just go and get it from hard clues and a million other ways but I kind of want to be able to make it. I think it's fun. But additionally, I can make the sunlight cross, the hunter sunlight crossbow for everybody, which is something they've been wanting. So that's the other reason I want to do that. So that's kind of twofold when I'm doing it for. But also, it's just nice to get total levels. I like getting total levels. It's nice to climb up. And it'll be nice to be able to make my own MSBs whenever I want. This way, if I bother to do like wilderness agility or anything risky, I can just go and earn on my own. Anyways, I'm going to continue working on this. I'll let you guys know when I'm done. I'm currently, as you can see here, making all the unpowered orbs. And then from here, I'm going to go and do uh, solo slash dolo uh, soul wars to get myself the pure essence I need. And then I need to go and get myself my rune crafting up to 50, I think it's 59. And then from 59, and then from there, I'll be able to go and start actually working on getting the cosmic runes. Anyways, I'll catch you guys when I'm done and I make some progress somewhere.